Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I am making, um, I found a red lead stamp set and what it makes is um, film strip pieces and I'm doing a tag swap. This is kind of the start of it, but I'm just going to do this, make one of these. Um, this is a photo that I found Saturday at a, the Junk Bonanza sale. It's really wild. You can't tell if it's a man or a woman, but um, it's from probably like the... Mm, 50, early 50s. So anyways, um, so I'm going to make the film strip piece just um, to show you how I'm doing it. I think Red Lead has a, they might have a video on it too. But this is their stamp set. Actually it comes with, here I'll show you this. It comes with another set or strip that's narrow, but I wanted to cut it off because I only want the wide ones. <clears throat> so I've inked it up with stays on, and then move that out of the way so I don't put it all over me. And then these are just all um, from my Cricut cartridges that I buy. I cut off the front and back of that horrid plastic. What do you call it? Packaging. Oh, I just hate that packaging. It's like so such a waste of plastic and too much plastic and it's like you get cut up and cut your hand off trying to get into it. So anyways I'm just gonna rub the stamp because I found um, you know with stamping on acrylic with the stays on it does stick and then it'll um, kinda pull off some of the ink while you pull it off. So I've been finding that this really works well to kinda just rub the area just make sure you don't get on the ink like of the stamp. Okay. And then just pull it off slowly. And there you have it. There. Okay. And um, so I'll do that again just to show you. And I don't want the whole strip. I just want this piece of it. <coughs> Excuse me. So this, um, again, this is redleadpaperworks.com. They have really cool, um, these are original stamps that they create, so you got to go check them out. They're pretty cool. I love their style and their stuff. Okay, oops, I kind of slipped there. I moved a little bit, so we'll see what happens. There you go. That worked out great. And then what I um, I just wanted to show you this too. <clears throat> um, my little stamp or tag. I've used finally. I've had this forever. The Tattered Angels Angels Glimmer Glam, and it's really cool. It kind of makes it kind of plasticky a little bit, or just you know gives it some body. This is my prototype that I'm practicing on, so. But I really like how it turns out. It gives it a little bit of color and just kind of a, a kind of a almost like a gluey gloss. It's really cool and it's got glitter. So I used um, Tide Pool and Dirty Martini on this one. Um, and then on this is the Dirty Martini on a vanilla or vanilla Manila tag. Isn't that cool? I like it. So I'm just practicing and playing and. I like this stuff. It's fun. The way you use it, you have to use a um, fan brush. In fact, I'll just show you how that works quick. Got to really shake it up good. You want to get all that glitter goodness into the uh, paint. And then you just stick your little fan brush in. And away you go. And the glitter just paints on with it. You can do as little as you want or as much. So I like it. It's really cool. So there's that. Um, so I will finish these and then 
um, show the rest result later. Thanks. Bye.